You see that little radial progress bar with the 19% inside of it? This is something that actually confuses a lot of people and they, they ignore it. A lot of people ignore it and if that's you and you're working within Cursor because that's what it looks like in Cursor or any other LLM or IDE, it still applies, it's the same concept, then you're doing it massively wrong. This is why a lot of people say, AIs can't handle complex project. No, it's a user skill issue. So this is what it is. Say we're in a new folder, there's no files in it, there's a brand new chat window, right? You don't see that little percentage because there's no context yet. So if I say create an index.html file, hit enter, you're gonna see immediately right down here, 15.4%, there's that radio progress bar. And if you hover over it, it says 31.4K of 200K has been used so far. What does that mean? Well, every time you initiate a new chat or you create a new tab up here, well, you're starting over from scratch with whatever model that you currently have selected right now, I have Claude Force Sonnet, and if you hover over it, you'll see this has a 200K context window. Claude Force Sonnet 1 million means it has a 1 million context window. It's much larger. It's a memory bank, right? And when you start to chat and you start to add more features to your app, what ends up happening, you know, this will end up growing. So if I tell it right down here as a follow up, create a really nice footer. Okay. What ends up happening? Well, 15.7, now it's 15.8. You're gonna see this continually grow as it keeps on working and writing code. So, ah, here it is, 16.7% has been used. Now, a lot of people, they don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> so what that means is the amount of memory has increased, all right? The amount of context, the amount of information that is currently flowing through this chat session. So 18.4%, okay. Here's what happens. A lot of people who don't understand what that means is it ends up reaching a point of like 90%. And then you'll see this thing. It says summarizing chat context. You've all seen it, I'm sure. Well, what that means is it got too high near the threshold of the 100% limit. And what it does is it takes a look at your initial messages upon the start of the chat and it summarizes, it reduces the amount of text what ends up happening is your right here, this running context percentage will drop after it does that, but guess what? It loses fine details. This is why when you let it get real high and you get further into a project and you're not aware of this information, this is why it starts to break down. It'll start screwing up your code and it becomes less reliable. So what you should do instead Let's say, for instance, this has a, a beautiful footer right here, right? If I right click and open with live server, right? So here's our beautiful footer, right? Let's say we're happy with this. Well, what you don't do, the last thing you do is start, you know, adding more features. Maybe you want a really beautiful header now and you're gonna ask it to do that. So your context is gonna keep growing. Instead of doing that, after you're, you're satisfied with that feature, you come up here, you hit clear all chats, all right? And when you do this, what ends up happening is it loses all the memory of that chat that, that you just had and all the things that you said and all the things that it said to you. Uh, and then what it does is if you start a new chat and you say something like, I don't know, hi, or you ask it to integrate a new feature, what it will do is it will scan the current files that are in the project. So index.html, it says, hi, I see you have a simple project with an index.html file. How can I help you? Now we're at back at 15.4%. Now that it was at 18%. Now it could have been up to 60% if we had a, you know, a bunch of different, you know, chat requests. So what ends up happening is now that we have a new chat context, we freed up a lot of the tokens or the context window, we can now say, you know, integrate another feature and it's going to be faster because also the larger you allow that percentage, the context window to increase, a few things happen. It gets a little bit slower in its responses because it has to process more text and tokens and data. Um, it also ends up being more pricey per request because all of those tokens cost a certain amount and it will also get less reliable. So 
That's why after each feature, you wanna clear the chat context. Now, another thing that's really important is when you start a new chat, it's not just this context over here of all the files that in, in everything it reads that gets passed into it. It's also, if you go to your chat settings and you come down to roles, you'll see we have two different sections, user roles and anything in here applies to all projects. All right, it, it applies to everything within cursor, but then you have project rules as well. Now there's no project rules for this, but if we created a rule, then every time we initiate a new chat, it would pass that in as context at the very start. So for instance, we're gonna do a very um, stupid rule, but it's just to demonstrate a point. We're gonna, we're, we can click add rule and do it ourselves here, or we could come down here in the chat, we can put slash generate, and you'll see generate cursor rules. All right, so we can tell it you have a new feature and you want it to document that feature so that every new chat, it has that context. In that way, it doesn't have to rely on relearning your project st structure from scratch. One thing that we can do to make it stupid and silly is at the end of every response you give, tell us why in two sentences, that Britney Spears should be left alone. <laughs> Let's hit send. And what's gonna happen is I'll create a cursor rule file. You're gonna see a folder created over here called cursor. Inside of cursor, there's a rules folder and then we have a Britney Spears rule. And you can see what that rule looks like. So now when I initiate a new chat, let's just to clear all chats, you could see we have this little file here. It says attached project rules, always apply, Britney Spears rule. That will also be passed into the context window as well. Now, realistically, that would be things that are specific to the project and how you know the code base is structured and if there's any specific rules that you want it to follow. In this case, if I say hi, watch what happens now. All right. I could see you have a simple workspace in index.html. Britney Spears deserves privacy and respect as a human, regardless of her celebrity status. So now that will be added in as new context for every new chat. So that's how you can kind of deal with project management. Um, and also most importantly, understanding that you don't want this thing to get so high that it has to summarize the chat. Now, of course, you could have a really big project with a ton of code and when you start a new chat, I uh, it might you know it might it's not going to be 15.6 percent at this point. It might be much higher, and that's why you might want to use something that has a higher context window. So there's a lot more I could say about this and, and structure and, and go on and on and on. But hopefully for those of you who have not been sure about what this context window is and why you're getting poor results because it keeps on saying summarizing chat context. Now you know how to deal with it. Like I said, there's more things that we could talk about this. You know, like when I'm working on my, my serious project I'm working on now, at the end of every feature, I don't just clear the chat. I also have it generate rules and summarize the feature that I just created so that when I create new chats, it has that context right at the start. All right, hopefully you, you all enjoyed that. And I think I'm gonna open up some eyeballs with this one because it's not straightforward. Not everybody knows this. And if you enjoy it and all this AI stuff and designing code, make sure to subscribe. I will see you all very soon.